The influence of traditional forms of music such as the steel pan, along with the exposure of our musicians to such genres as jazz and soul music added much diversity to the music. I just love music. It doesn't matter where it comes from or who is playing it. If it appeals to me, that is what it is for me. I don't have a particular style. One thing for sure though, um, I like the idea of blending or fusing styles to make new things happen. As far as I remember, we were the first band to do a recording. We went to Jamaica on the federal boat. And the federal palm and the federal maple. Uh, we went to Jamaica and did a recording at Dynamics, Dynamics Studio. And came back here with a different kind of music in our heads. What is no reggae? Because reggae was being kind of developed then. It was ska, rock steady, and we came back. As a matter of fact, we we did a tune on the on that album with that kind of influence and brought it back in. I basically made made that reggae style popular here too. Um, we went out. We played for for a few years and. Then Blues decided to move to St. Thomas. And the band, well, I wouldn't say broke up, but it certainly changed. Then we had Bing and June Charles. June was on guitar, Bing on bass. Um, we changed the name to Grand Ash 2. No going drums. And again, started, we were playing a lot of the Earth and Fire, the um, Hendrix. The, the North American kind of R&B, rock, soul, funk, funk, funkadelic, so all that kind of influence creeped in. And of course, people people up to a point couldn't handle that kind of thing. A lot of, a lot of people would cuss us and tell us that, oh, y'all playing white people music and that kind of, you know, not realizing that the whole R&B funk that you can't get much blacker than that. And jazz is jazz business, whatever jazz is. Oh, you playing white people music. Again, not realizing that jazz comes from the root to blackness. Mm -hmm. But we never let that deter us. We kept playing and this is what we, this is what we are now. I remember most, some of my most memorable experiences as a singer is when I used to perform and then realize that the or so one or two people in the audience um, catch my, my attention and I would leave the stage and go down and just, especially when you're singing a soul and you do it right in front of them and they're so attentive that sometimes you do it in a way that um, the water come out your eyes according to what song you're singing and um, you might take in, you know, they call it take in, like you're taking with the flips and people believe that you're really taking and sick because fellas from the band or backstage will come and throw a cloak over you or get some bottom or alcohol and make the crowd believe that you're really taking with the soul feeling. At one occasion I remember we were singing at Tabernacle and Bruce Kerry did a kind of siren thing on the album. And people went from outside to stretch and thought that the fellow really take him with his soul and you have to take him to the hospital. The crowd wrote, you know, really want to really take him. But just a performance. That was yes. part of the performance. <laughs> yeah.